Hi, how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my blog. Right. Okay, so last time I said this one was going to be a fan flu and as you can see I have the fan flu hoodie on again. So nice and faded and clearly well used. <laughs> It probably needs to be replaced with a new one, but I don't know. I, mean, I, I still can see what it's supposed to be, if nobody else can. <laughs> and it's been eaten to death by my gerbils. Um, okay, so... I'm not entirely sure what I'm talking about on this fan curation when I decided to uh, make this the topic of the next one. Um, it was more a case of I needed to come up with a topic and I hadn't come up with a topic yet and this was a topic I kind of decided that I was going to run with. Um, so <laughs> um, all right, okay, I guess I'll talk about Fruits Basket um, since that's been on my mind quite a bit recently. Um, so Fruit Baskets is an anime and a manga series. Um, a number of years ago, they brought out a, an original version of the anime, uh, which I actually discovered through um, it being like one of the uh, advertised uh, animes that you could watch on another DVD box set that I had. So at the time, I was living with a particular housemate <laughs> who I know I no longer speak to for various reasons um, and we wanted to share some of the sort of shorter man uh, shorter anime series that we both uh, particularly liked and particularly enjoyed um, so the box set that she got hold of was Oron High School Host Club I think I'm saying that right um, which I now own my own copy of uh, after we split ways. I was like, I like that series. <laughs> I like that series so much that I want my own version of it, uh, my own copy of, the, of it. But I believe it was one of the ones on that one um, that had this little advert for Fruits Basket and neither of us had heard of it before. And we were both like, oh, that sounds kind of interesting. Um, let's get a hold of the box set and, and see what it's like. Um, and I was the one who happened to purchase it because it was my turn to purchase a box set, so, so I did. Um, and we watched it together. We watched, uh, admittedly, we watched the dubbed version um, because that's what it defaulted to. And I think sometimes when you're watching an anime series for the first time uh, with a friend, it can be easier to do the, the dubbed version because then you can like talk about it and like you know, and stuff like that, um, and I think sometimes it's easier to learn the names, especially if they don't change the names um, in the translation. I know sometimes they do change the names in the translation, but if it's a good translation, then they tend not to change the names, um, and then you can learn how to pronounce the names, and that's one of the things that I'm really, really bad at when I do watch um, subtitled animes, is it does take me a long time to learn how to pronounce the characters' names, <laughs> whereas if I watch, like, the, the, um, uh, dubbed version first and I, I can feel a lot better at, at pronouncing the names. Anyway, um, so Fruits Basket, that once I sort of, we sort of got through the whole, uh, the whole series as it was, um, and where that particular series sort of ended things, I have to admit I was so in love with the, the story and the characters, I was like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm interested to check out the manga. So I did, um, I, I used online manga reading sources just because it's cheaper. It's easier than to actually find the series that you want. Um, it's one thing I, I I have I have found is I've got like um, for a couple of manga series I've either got the first book or the first couple of books, and then I've not been able to find any of the others um, like easily. Um, so you kind of get that far and you, you can't collect the series. Um, because they're not like a popular enough series to have been like fully translated um, and, and various things like that. So I find it's a lot easier to use the online resources. I know that's not necessarily, you know, the best way of going about it. But I think if you've got enough of interest, enough of a passion about the series um, and you want to know and you want to sort of see how the manga goes, um, 
and it's it's uh, I've done it for a couple of things. I've, I've done it for Auron as well, um, where I've I've kind of gone. I want to see you know if this story goes any further. Uh, what happens with the story next? So. Yeah, I, I read the manga uh, through, through the online means. I discovered that the anime series that was out kind of cuts the story off, not even like, like it's not even like the first third. <laughs> it's like barely any of the way through. And that's where the, the, the anime kind of goes, yeah, yeah, that, that's enough, right? That's all you need to know. I mean, the, the original anime does do a really good uh, job of making the story feel like it has a sense of closure. Um, I mean, obviously, there, there's a sense of surely there's more story here, but it, it does feel like, you know, it's got a nice sense of closure. It doesn't finish in a way that kind of goes, oh, but there, may, there needs to absolutely needs to be more of this story. Um, whereas when we actually kind of read the, the, the manga, because you know, obviously details are different and, and the way they sort of do that particular moment isn't as final uh, or climactic as it is presented in the, in the original anime. Um, you kind of really get sort of you know into it, and it makes sense that the story continues, and you learn a lot more about these characters, and it's you know it, where it actually eventually ends. Or in my opinion, is a really good place. <laughs> I uh, I mean, it's been a while. I can't remember it exactly, but I I do remember really really enjoying um, you know how how my series kind of tackled the rest of the story and where the story kind of progressed from there. And um, yeah, so when um, so when I heard that they were bringing out a new version of the anime, um, I was really hopeful that it would progress beyond um, where the original anime series ended. Um, so I found out that there was going to be a new version of the Freeze Baskets from Peanut Butter Gamer. <laughs> um, I was watching one of his videos on his gameplay channel, so I think it was a PB and Jeff, um, and he was like, oh, I've heard they're bringing it out, I'm really excited, I love the original series, it's such a cute anime, um, or something something to that effect, and I was like, oh, they're bringing out new fruits baskets, yay! Um, and then promptly forgot <laughs> about it <laughs> until once again Peanut Butter Gamer was like, uh, oh yeah, I've just started watching the new episodes of Fruit Basket. And I was like, thank you, Peanut Butter Gamer. I am going to go do the same now. <laughs> so by that point, I think there was like the first three or four episodes out. Um, I watched the first, I, I mean, I'm sub as I have a Crunchyroll account, um, I do sort of pay my membership for that, so I feel like I'm contributing towards uh, you know, the, the, the anime and stuff like that, so in, in as much as I am able to. So that's why I'm like, yeah, I, I will go and I'll watch this new series. Um, so I, I like, it was just after I'd moved in here as well. Um, so. I think it's one of the first things that I watched after I, I kind of moved in here. It was like the first uh, three or four episodes. As soon as I finished watching watching them, and, and I knew there was going to be a wait until the until the next episode came out the following week because it's literally like I think the day that either the third or the fourth episode had released. Um, I was like, okay, time to watch the original series again. So like, even though like all my stuff was still like packed away and it was one of the things that's like right at the bottom of one of the bags <laughs> um so it took a little bit of fishing but i managed to get it out and i put it on and i watched through the entirety of the the original anime again and that made me really excited for watching the rest of the new one <laughs> and like the new one does take a a much different style it's much closer i think to what how i remember the manga being um there's not so much of the silliness and the um there's none of the rice ball stuff and if anybody's seen the original series of fruit fruits basket you'll know what i mean by the rice ball stuff the sort of the like the, the bits that they do on like the in between cardi things which um kind of annoyed me a little bit i mean like i got it it was cute and it worked with the tone um that particular version of the anime was going for um but it was kind of a bit pointless and um it did sometimes detract from the seri seriousness of some of the situations that was going on. Um, I kind of like almost softened it too much. 
So I'm like really glad that the new series has sort of, you know, gone in, in what I think is the right direction uh, for the series. And bear in mind, I've been an, ad, an, I've been an adult both times watching this series. So I'm not sort of like nostalgia, glasses and what kind of going, you know, oh, that's like a childish version and, and this is a more adult version. I think both versions have their merits and the fact that the new version is going to go beyond where the, the old one sort of, uh, left off and I know that there's going to be more of it next year because it's just come to like the last episode this weekend just gone um and it's like oh but I want the rest of it now we can we keep going now and I'm, I'm like half tempted to go um find the manga again and, and sort of read on the manga again just to kind of remind myself of what's coming but at the same time I'm kind of like you know I kind of just want to wait for it to sort of come out next year and then see where they're taking it because you know obviously they, they're still making uh, some changes because when you sort of adapt, and this is one of the things um, I sort of touched on a little bit when I was talking about adap adaptations uh, a few weeks ago, is that when you adapt to work, you, you do make changes to it. Uh, you're telling the same sort of basic story, but you're making changes to it for it to fit the medium that you're moving into. And so, you know, obviously it's not exactly the same as the manga. Um, it's closer to the manga than the original series in terms of tone and in terms of all the stuff that happens. Um, like so it's like um but even then there's like some things I'm kind of like I, I kind of remember that but I don't remember you know exactly that um and I know from watching you know having watched the the, anim the original anime again that's not me remembering it from the from the anime it's kind of like was that something in the manga that I'd sort of forgotten about because there was this one episode uh where you learn a bit about um one of the characters backstories um well because then like um toro's toro toro Tor, toru's <laughs> i can't say the name now um her two best friends i could remember sort of most of the backstory of one of them so when that kind of was done it felt very familiar i couldn't really remember the backstory of the other one so i don't know if that's something that was done for the anime or if the fact that i remembered the the other characters backstory is a a bit better was because it was sort of presented to you um in the original version of the of the anime whereas the other ones wasn't um at the same time i'm kind of like i, I don't know i don't i don't really remember i kind of want to go uh be the manga again just to sort of see what they changed what they added um and stuff like that uh because that's, that's that always interests me um when it's something when it's a particular series that i do care quite a bit about and I do love these characters. I love the the way they relate to each other. I, I love the fact that it is cute and serious at the same time, especially with the new series. Um, I watched a YouTuber sort of talking about the the main character and about how she is um, she she's sort of presented as being kind of like the ditzy um, leading lady of a um, harem reverse harem uh anime but when you actually kind of get down to it she's just established all the other characters all the other characters are interesting and well-rounded and a lot of thought has gone into making these characters as real as possible and not just sort of like one dimension tropes uh one dimensional tropes um and yeah i i completely agree with that and i think that comes across much more in this version than it did in the original version but of, of the anime but the original version, it is still sort of there. Um, I mean, I might, that might partly be, you know, because I do know that version better. And, and um, as I said, I know the dubbed version of that better than I know the sub version. Um, and the 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 actors that sort of play the characters in that do emote the characters quite well. And, you know, it, it, is, it is well done. Um, but I think... I don't know, I do really like what they've done with the series. Um, I'm really excited to see the, where they go with it um, next year. And yeah, it's, yeah, <laughs> I've, I've somehow managed to spend a decent amount of time talking about fruit baskets. Um, I really, really, really wish. So I, I've met, I, I know like a couple of people at work are aware of fruit baskets and they haven't started watching the original, uh, started watching this series yet 
or they sort of are semi-aware of the manga and haven't read the manga because they they know there are certain things that are different to, to the original anime and like, they love the original anime so much and it's kind of like I, I want people to talk about the new three, the fruit stuff gets weird and I don't have that yet. <laughs> So this this felt like a good vibration for me to be all excited and fun girly and um, yeah. <laughs> all right, okay. So um, the next vlog is going to be on the colours I see, which is the book I am still planning to release before the end of the year. Um, I know I spent a lot of this year talking about um, the Neverating Collection and all the books in the Neverating Collection, um, but let's face it, I am a writer, I am trying to start my writing career, I'm going to have to do a little bit of self-promotion, even if I sort of don't necessarily enjoy doing it the sort of traditional way, um, and this is kind of my compromise where I'm sort of putting it out there in a more comfortable way for me, even if it's not necessarily the best way of doing it. Um, so. Next, next vlog is going to be on the colours I see. Um, I hope you guys are sort of looking forward to seeing what I have to say about it. Um, I hope you guys have found this one sort of interesting, um, whether it's in the case of Fruits Basket is something that you already love but weren't aware that there was a new anime or really love, knew there was a new anime and was just as excited about it as I've been or not as excited about it as I've been. It'd be you know, interesting to hear from people who maybe didn't like it as much as the original anime. Um, I don't know, then there might be people like that out there because as I said, a lot of people have, have, have really strong nostalgia for the original anime, even like though it hasn't been that long since it was released, I don't think. Um, so it'll be, you know, interesting to see what people think um, about it, whether they've seen it before, whether they haven't seen it before, whether this is going you know, to pique their interest or, or whatever else. Um, yeah, it's, it's a good fan formation when I can say something like that, I think. <laughs> All right, okay, so uh, as I said, I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. I hope you're looking forward to the next one, and I will see you next time. See ya. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others, and if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya.